So we're going to use Google now to create a venue and grab the data. Um, you could click this button and then try and scroll to, to where you want to be. This is a fairly rudimentary interface so um, I've kept it minimal and won't spend much time developing this. I think you're just better off going to Google Maps, finding the location that you want. In this case I've already located it. Um, zoom into the, the center point that you, you want to focus on and um, then you can just go and grab the latitude, longitude there, uh, copy that, switch back to RTV, paste it in there, click fetch and away it goes. Now we're zoomed right out here at the moment and um, I'd want to come in a bit on there so we just zoom in a little bit. Um, shows you the area covered there. You can change this and that area covered then is a little bit um, larger. You can square it up if you like or make it rectangular. Whatever you do here um, after you press OK it adjusts these sliders to match. Now if you want to come out a little bit more you can. If you to use this again it will reset these values so I'm just going to set it to about there. Um, I'm going to subdivide a little bit for a little bit more detail and I'll press OK to that and we'll go and fetch out those uh, images from Google. And it's fetching um, multiple images and then stitching it together and um, trying to remove the, the Google logo that gets plastered on every image so it stitches them together in a fairly neat format for you. Um, it uses a 4000 and 96 by 4096 image. Um, I do want to update that and um, for some areas of the track, you know, that, that's pretty good detail. Um, for some areas of the track you would want more detail so um, I do plan to have the ability to sort of draw a rectangle on, on your screen here and then it will go out and get more Google images for a higher resolution but to begin with you want an overall map. Um, now Google uh, by default will have these shadows built in so sometimes it's good to go into your into your um, venues light settings and just play with this until you get the the light in the game matching up and I think well, I think it was around about there that's probably a good match to, to show it. Um, now if you do want to um, continue you know, breaking that down, you can just have the, the image there selected for this background. Um, I like to have wireframe on, so it's pressing W for wireframe. And then you can just uh, click and drag there, and you see it's going out and getting more information from Google and just adjusting all the terrain. If you have this smaller, of course, it's going to start getting more detail. Uh, it is limited to what Google has, so in areas where Google there's no more information, um, there's no point creating smaller triangles. Um, the other thing you can do is if you go into the, the venue here, you can turn off um, the using of Google to get height and um, you'll see that you've got the terrain tools there so I could go and modify that myself if I wanted to. Um, obviously it's not really matching now and um, if I were to go back and go back to, to use Google um, you, you lose those tools and you can't really adjust that so um, be be careful in using that because it, it's more or less a, a one-way street for that area um, you can't really undo it. Um, in the next tutorial I'll, I'll do the same again or similar um, for a set of Corsa because we've got a pay attention to um, a set of Corsa when we're using the multi-layer. Um, it's a, a special shader which um, deserves special attention. Thanks for watching.